The myriad issues are part of the conversation as Malaysians head to the polls later this month for a general election. Among them, the jailing of former Prime Minister Nazir Raza. There are questions about how his downfall will impact the biggest party in the country's ruling alliance, UMNO. Najib led the United Malays, a national organization, from 2009 to 2018. CNA's Melissa Go traveled to his home state of Pahang to get a read on voter sentiment. It's been months since his incarceration. Bosku, or my boss, the moniker that jailed ex-Prime Minister Najib Raza invented for himself after his ouster in 2018, is slowly losing widespread appeal on the ground. Although his party, Amno has vowed to stand by him, his absence has left a leadership vacuum in a fragmented party. That void is being felt across certain segments in the rural Malay heartland. Now, although Bosco's influence on the ground is waning following his jailing in August, not quite here in Pekan. After all, Pekan is the family seat of jailed ex-Prime Minister Najib Raza since the constituency is created in the 1950s. It was held by his late father, Abdul Raza, who is the country's second Prime Minister. Now, Najib has been the MP for over 40 years, and many here felt indebted to him. Pekan masih sayangkan dia. Pekan masih perlukan dia. Hampir dua penggal dia merintah. Um, so banyak jasa dia. Nah, dia banyak membantu kaum uh, ibu tunggal. Banyak-banyak dia membantu juga. Uh, rakyat Pekan banyak juga dapat faedah dia. Semua orang ada kelemahan. Betul tak? Ha, jadi kita tak tahu. Nak kata dia salah pun kita tak tahu. Nak kata dia betul pun kita tak tahu. Ha. Najib, who is 69 years old, is currently serving a 12-year jail sentence for corruption and money laundering. He's barred from contesting an election or holding any political office for five years, even after he's freed. His son, Niza Najib, is widely expected to defend his seat in Pekan. Already, voters are warming up to the Pekan Amno Youth Chief. Dia muda, ada ada pemikiran baru dan dia boleh tarik ramai yang golongan muda yang 18 ni untuk berundi kan. Ya, Pekan akan sokong dia. Absolutely, kebanyakan akan sokong dia. Pasal dia daripada generasi Razak, Najib and then dia kan. Dia okey, dia macam ayah dia lah, mesra, mesra, mesra rakyat. Hmm. Macam ayah dia. But it may not be a walk in the park for Niza without support from the party's central leadership. Orang Pekan respect anak, anak tu Razak, bukan anak Najib. Dia tak sama. Tu Razak dia banyak jasa untuk negara kita. Dia bapa pembangunan dah. Kalau dia ambil pun, dia kena kerja keras lah, hard working lah. Dia tak boleh duduk kedai kopi, sembang-sembang. Dia kena pergi kampung lah. As the dust settles, it's unclear how Bosco's absence is going to affect the turnout in BN traditional vote bank. Malay grassroots, it is multi-layered. Okay, they are they are urban voices and they are also rural voices that have different opinions. So I think right now they're in shock, and they're still processing the entire uh, what it means to the party. So when you have a power vacuum, and you have a confused party grassroots, it becomes fragmented. But Amno has downplayed the void. Isu Dato Sri Najib adalah isu kita bersama. Sepatutnya menyatukan kita dan bukan memecahkan kita. Yeah. Najib's application to prison's department for permission to return to his constituency has been denied prior to dissolution of parliament. His other corruption trials are still ongoing in Kuala Lumpur and he has since sought full pardon from the king. Melissa Goh, CNA, Pekan, Pahang.